So let's do another one now. Let's say we have y is minus 3x plus 4. And let me paste in a coordinate plane for us. So the first step, remember, we have to find the slope first. It's the number attached to x. I'll just put up our y equals mx plus b to remind us. But in this case, m is negative 3 here. And again, since it's a whole number, I'm going to put it over 1 to match it up with the rise over the run so that it's easier to find that second point once I plot the y-intercept. And then our y-intercept, if I plug in x equals 0, this just goes away and I get that y equals 4. So our y-intercept b in this case is 4. And so we're going to plot that first. So remember, this is the y value. The x value of the y-intercept is always 0. So we're going to plot 0, 4. So let me just change colors. So 0, 4 is right here. And then we'll use slope to find a second point. So our rise is negative 3. So that means we're going to go down 3. And then our run is positive 1. We're going to go to the right 1. Like I said, we always go to the right. The negative just tells us we're going down and then to the right, rather than up and to the right. So down 3, right 1. So 1, 2, 3, and then right 1. So right there, we can do it again. Down 1, 2, 3, right 1. Down 1, 2, 3, and right 1. And you really only have to do it once, since you just need two points to draw a straight line. But if you want extra practice, you can keep going like this. So that'll roughly give us the line. It's not perfect, since I'm drawing this by hand but you can get a rough idea of what this line looks like. So this pink line here, this is the geometric representation of this equation, y equals minus 3x plus 4. So let's try maybe two more of these just to get the hang of it. And again, let me paste in a coordinate plane. And let's look at the example, y is 2 thirds x plus 1. And so comparing this to y equals mx plus b, we can figure out our slope very quickly, the coefficient on x, the number multiplied by x. And this time it's a fraction, which is convenient for us because we'll just match it up to our rise over run. So in this case, fractions don't actually make this more difficult, which is kind of nice. And then our y-intercept, our b value is 1, so that means it goes through the point 0, 1, because our y-intercept is always when x is 0. And then we just need to figure out what y is based on whatever we're adding or subtracting here. And we're going to start by plotting that y-intercept first, so 0, 1. And now using slope, we go up 2 and over 3. So up 2, right 3, because it's positive. So we're going up. So 1, 2, up, and then 1, 2, 3, over. So right there, we can do it again. 1, 2, up, and 1, 2, 3, over. And you can see those line up nicely for us. And now just connecting them all with a straight line. And so this green line is the geometric representation of the equation y is 2 thirds x plus 1. And let's do one final problem. And this time we'll have a negative slope with a fraction. So let's say we have y is minus 4x over 5 plus, let's say, 3. And so we know our point, or our slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And so m, the coefficient on x, or the number attached to x, is minus 4 fifths. So minus 4 over 5, it's whatever numbers are next to x, or multiplied by x. And then b, our y-intercept, is at positive 3. So when you plug in x equals 0 to our equation here, this term goes away, and you get that y is 3. So we'll start by plotting that. We have that 0, 3, that's our y-intercept. And then our slope is minus 4 fifths. So our rise is going to be down because our slope is negative. So we're going to go down 4, and then our run, we're going to go 5 to the right. So let's count down 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right about there. And you could keep going, but you would need to extend this coordinate plane. So I'm just going to connect these points now with a line. See if I can get that first try. So that's probably close enough. 
And so this pink line here is a geometric representation of the equation y equals minus 4x over 5 plus 3.